Hey you guys, before I got into the video, I just wanted to talk briefly about my new ebook, Zodiac Signs Sex Language. Whether you're looking to improve your sex life and your dating life, or if you're just looking to expand your knowledge about astrology, this is definitely the right book for you. This book is meant to help you improve your sex life, your, your dating life, and your love life, your relationships and to spice it up in the bedroom if need be um or to just once again you know help you learn more about astrology so if you're interested in any of these things if you're interested in learning in learning about the different love languages and the different sex languages of the zodiac signs definitely look into getting this book zodiac signs sex language written by me edited by me and designed by me lamar townsend so you can purchase this uh, ebook on my website, lamartownsintero.com, or you can purchase it on Amazon, on the Amazon Kindle ebook store, all right? Or just amazon.com. All right, into the video we go. Thank you for listening and watching. Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope psychic tarot reading for the month of, or the months of September, October, November, and December of 2018. If you would like your own personal, private, confidential psychic tarot reading, birth chart reading, messages from your spirit guides, or more, contact me on my website, lamartownsintarot.com. I would love to read for you. Let's jump right into your reading, okay? This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus, Pluto, Saturn first through 12th house and any other placements for the months of September October November and December of 2018 what's in store for Pisces for the months of September October November and December of 2018 what's in store for Pisces for the months of September, October, November, and December of 2018. <clears throat> What's in store for Pisces for the months of September, October, November, and December of 2018? Here in the past position is the seven of Gabriel for you guys. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence and claim your personal power. So a lot of you could be standing up for yourselves moving into this uh, this season. Learning to stand up for yourselves in a myriad of different areas of your life. Okay, it could relate to relationships, career, finances, so much. Um, so many areas that it could relate to. So many aspects that it could relate to. Take it as it comes, okay? Take it as it resonates. You, you know, opening your, you opening your mind, opening your perspective to see things clearly here in the present position with the aid of Michael. You can be free, make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. But like I said, I see, I feel like you're opening yourself up, opening up your mind to seeing things clearly, to having a more clear perspective of things and how things um, should be or are perceived to be. Sorry, I'm such a Virgo rising. I'm very much a perfectionist and little things annoy me <laughs> the sun card archangel Uriel, life is wonderful thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success here in the future position okay so life is wonderful you're becoming more positive you're having a more hopeful outlook on the future here um, you know, more helpful, hopeful outlook on, on next year even. I feel like you're thinking long term here. Alright. Let's pull a card from the bottom of the deck. It's the Leap of Faith card. Ooh, Archangel Metatron, believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. So you're also following your heart at this time. Taking risks, taping, taking leaps of faith, understanding that in order to get to the other side, you have to take a risk, or you have to take risks, you have to take leaps of faith, or a leap of faith, alright? I think you're starting to understand that that's the only way you're going to get there. You're going to have to start following your heart. You're going to have to start listening more to your intuition and just going, acting more on your intuition. Not thinking on it too much, not ruminating on it too much, not sitting too long in solitude, you know, to... 
overthink yourself into not acting, you know, into not perceive, proceeding forward, you know, it, it's just... <clears throat> Spirit is wanting you to act more, Pisces, all right, instead of thinking. Thinking is good, of course, don't get me wrong, especially thinking before acting, but thinking too much can hinder you, can cripple you, right? The Six of Ariel here in the conclusion, material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways, acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. So balance is being restored in your finances, a lot of times this is balance being restored in our finances. You know, um, a windfall uh, coming to our finances, especially if we've, we're have we needing finances, we're needing more, you know, a uh, flow of income coming in. You know, this is a good card to see, you know, so. Um, and after that, the Empress card, which is a, a huge flow of income. So this is amazing. Archangel Gabriel, time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. So you're being rewarded by acting on your plans. By acting on your desires by the, from the universe through, you know, getting more clients, getting more business, you know, getting more abundance and prosperity to your finances through um, you just having the mindset of being able to make things happen, being able to overcome any obstacles, you know, um, it's you following your heart, you listening to your guidance, you acting on your intuition, you taking risks when necessary, right? This is all going to lead you to true abundance, to true prosperity. You know? Amazing. Here is the Knight of Gabriel. Confident, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic. Time to take action. Great passion for a cause. Instinctively knowing just what to do. Reconnecting with your childhood, your, your children, okay? Childhood friends, relics of your childhood, memories from your childhood. Maybe healing childhood wounds as well here, Pisces. For some of you. And once again, it's going to be through taking these risks, through following your heart, through acting on your tuition. This is going to draw people to you. This is going to, you know, it's almost like, and I hate to use this as a reference. It has nothing to do with the actual movement itself, but it's almost like me too, you know. Yeah, me too. I relate with that. I resonate with that. I do the same thing. I'm the same way. It's like that kind of energy to me. Where for you, it's like, oh my God, I'm not alone. Thank God. You know, for other people, it's like, oh wow, I actually relate to this person. You know? And then it becomes, I relate to this person. How can I help you? How can I support you? You know? How can I help further your dreams, you know, and your goals? People want to help you when they like you. People want to, you know, um, help you to become more successful. They want to see you successful when they genuinely like you, when they genuinely relate to you or feel like they can relate to you, right? So this is a huge revelation for you, I feel like. The two of Michael, it will all be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem, find a compromise, but at the same time... Part of you hates relying too much on people, whether it be for resources, validation, just in general. Part of you doesn't like relying too much on people, but that's kind of life. You know, in life, you got to rely on people. Of course, you got to rely on self, but sometimes when self isn't strong enough at the time, self has to rely on someone else or other people to lift them up to prop them up, you know, to give them a boost, <clears throat> excuse me, so I feel like people want to give you a boost, Pisces, <laughs> in terms of resources, in terms of their time, their energy, their advice, you know, ask and you shall receive, but you've definitely got to do your part here, in terms of taking risks, believing in yourself enough to make it happen even throughout through you know enduring through the difficult times as well all right making it happen through the difficult times because there will be difficult times you know time to move quickly choose logic over emotion 
difficult times in terms in terms of learning lessons, you know. Uh, spiritual growth, learning, gr learning growth, uh, growing pains. Okay, that's the right word. Growing pains. Okay, that's the really good word for it. The emperor here. But it's all leading to stability for yourself. It's all leading to you taking charge of your life, taking charge of your situation, taking charge over the, the future of your life, the trajectory of your life, where it's heading. You having a plan. You having a plan for this these opportunities being presented to you, this opportunity being presented to you. Something is like... It's almost like having a golden egg being placed in your hands. And it's like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with this golden egg? Why is this golden egg being placed in my hands? What, 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 what is this? What am I going to do with it? And after you've kind of had a time to just process the fact that you have a golden egg in your hands, it becomes, okay, now what? What am I going to do with this moving forward when it hatches? Because it's about to hatch, all right? By the way, <laughs> it's, it's about to hatch. So there needs to be a plan for protecting whatever hatches out of that egg. Because whatever hatches out of that egg is going to bring you success, longevity in the long run, okay? Whether it's uh, career, finances, relationships. I mean, <clears throat> a change is coming, you guys, okay? A positive one. But a brilliant one. Uh, almost a huge one. It's like a shift. Alright. A change in revelation that offers freedom. Alright. Breaking free of your procrastination. Embracing the opportunities that change wants to bring into your life. Pisces at this time. drama around you you your energy shifting your energy no longer resonating with the situations the people around you all right in your current circumstances you realizing maybe oh i can't hang out with the same people i can't be around the same family members anymore because their energies are just maybe so low frequency and your frequency is vibrating higher <clears throat> Some decisions to make by the end of the year, all right? Over which to keep, who to keep. As you make these this new journey in your life, as you go towards this new opportunity or opportunities. So many major arcanas, I'm loving it. Not to mention the Empress came out in the very beginning. So, I mean, the period starts off very strong and seems to continue to end strong as well. But be careful of overworking yourself, whether literally or mentally, okay? Everything um, will work out, you know, work itself out in due time. Everything has its own divine order, its own divine timing, all right? So trust that process as well, Pisces. <clears throat> by 2019 I just see you in so much of a better place and you're just really 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 feeling good about okay the egg has hatched by 2019 and now you've 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 you found a way to protect the egg. You found a way to nester the the egg to to whatever hatched out of it, and now you're reaping the benefits. You're allowing your wealth to grow. It's almost like and wealth doesn't have to be in monetary um, ways. It can also be wealth comes in so many forms, such as um, you know uh, our resources, our networks. You know. Um, our knowledge, you know, so knowledge is power, you guys. So this looks like such an amazing period. I'm so proud of you guys. You know, don't let the haters get you down, okay? Don't let the people trying to sabotage your success get you down, all right? Because you've got the power, all right? Your intuition is strong. 
Face your fears, okay? Like I said, your perspective is slowly changing to life and how you feel about life, how you view life, how you view your future. <clears throat> the person you were two, three years ago, you probably won't recognize that person by the beginning of 2019. The person you are today, you may not recognize by the beginning of 2019. You know, like, that's how much change is coming for you. And it's positive, okay? So now I'm going to pull a card for you guys from the, um, my own homemade oracle card, oracle tarot card deck. Now there are only a few cards here because I did just begin creating this deck last night. I got all the supplies and stuff last night, so don't judge me too harshly. But I want to pull a card for you guys to see what messages the angels and, you know, your spirit guides and ancestors have for you, okay? So what message do... Oh, it looks like we got a card. Ooh. So attraction is building. Attraction is building, okay? Momentum is building. Alright? Energy is building for you guys. It's all culminating. It's all leading up to something big, alright? big change this is about love you know attraction is building between you and another person whether you're coupled or single all right this could also be about you just kind of you know your attractiveness building you feeling better about yourself and things like that you know so this is an amazing card to see and thank you for doing this reading with me thank you for uh watching if you would like to elaborate, contact me once again on my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. I would love to read for you, okay? Keep in touch. Namaste, love, and light. Please like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support. Follow me on my social media pages, Instagram at Lamar Townsend, Facebook, Lamar Townsend Tarot. Namaste, love, and light. Hey guys, thank you for listening and watching. Please hit the like button, share with your friends and your family, and also please subscribe, of course. And if you're interested in my ebook, check out my ebook, purchase it on my website or on Amazon. I would also love it if you would follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, thank you guys for listening and watching, and I'll catch you in the next video, alright?